Hey, what is going on guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video and today we are going to be reviewing the English dub of the first episode of the Bleach Thousand Year Blood War um, series. In reality, it's Bleach episode 367. So, um, yes... Uh, I will be titling it episode by the canonized episode numbers from the previous seasons of Bleach. Um, just so we're clear. And boy, oh boy, we are finally back, guys. We are finally back. Um, it was November 2nd, 2014 since the last episode of Bleach. Well... For the English dub. This is an English dub channel after all. So we go by that. Um, so. Let's get this started. This is um, on Hulu. Um, exclusively. Um, the dub just came out. Two days ago. I finally got a chance to watch it. Um, there were other stuff I had to do the last two days. So I missed out on watching it on the debut. But we're getting to it now. Um. And boy, oh boy, they went right into it, guys. They went right into this. Um, so, they wasted no time. They kind of... They were doing some narration. They showed uh, some Soul Reapers. Um, and then uh, we got um, two new Soul Reapers that they showed us. A, a, a female and a, and a male... Uh, so and uh, Shino, I believe their names are. Um, they were assigned to Karakuo Town, um, and uh, they, um, you know, were basically assigned to kind of assist in taking out um, Hollows, you know, and. Uh, Shino was like a scaredy cat where the other one was, uh, you know, aggressive and trying to do the patrol. She's like, you know, we have to split up in different spots where it wouldn't make sense to continue doing this uh, together. And he just like, you know, she's like, well, you know, just come out and say you're scared if you're scared. And he's like, OK, I'm scared. And so she was like pissed off at him. Um, and so they eventually split up uh, uh, soul or I'm sorry, a hollow attack Shino. He's like running like all through these buildings, all scared. He's trying to call uh, Res uh, Resaki. Uh, and uh, he's trying to, to uh, just, uh, you know, like contact her and be like, well, what's going on? What's going on? And when he gets to the top of the building, he realizes that she is knocked out from three more hollows one of the hollows having her in her hand and so then she he then tries to save her but gets knocked out himself and busted open and then that's when we get you know team ichigo i guess um so ichigo kurosaki orihime uh, uriu and chad um come and uh you know start you know taking out the hollows uh they kill the hollows um you know we get to see all the classics um you know the classic moves okay coach you uh and all that all that goes down uh Urihime heals them all up with her uh you know healing powers um and then after that, they go to basically two days later, which is in Ichigo's house, in his room. And they're like all there except for Rukia. Yeah, Rukia was not in this episode, by the way. Um, so we're going to have to wait a little bit for Rukia, I guess. Um, but anyways, so... Um, the Shino guy, he wakes up. And they basically tell, you know, like, they, uh, you know, Orihime offered him some food and whatnot. And, um, 
you know, he they basically tell him that he was out for two days. He thought he was only out for one day. Um, and then, then we have uh, Risoko, who basically comes in and, like, starts to attack him because he's, like, pissed off at her, or at him, sorry. Um... Then after that, um, after he's out of the bed, um, there is a guy that comes in to the bedroom uh, through the window, and he's just like standing there. And each goes like says, "Get off my bed!" Um, and he's like, "He's like, hey, what are you saying?" You know. And then he's like, "I said, get off my bed." I thought that's what you said. And then Ichigo just gives him the boot without any hesitation. Boom. And, um, just goes way down, uh, get way downtown, you know what I mean? Um, he confronts him, you know, he goes after this, uh, this guy who looks like an Arankar, uh, with his mask, uh, and Ichigo even asks him this, like, you know, are you an Arankar or something? And he's like, how dare you call me an Arankar? Like, he was so appalled, he's like... How dare you call me in a wrong car? You know, he was so opposed to it. Uh, and then we start seeing the uh, the powers, like, you know, the stuff that he was doing, which was kind of Quincy-ish powers. And he's like, what are you doing? You know, he's like, he couldn't believe it. He was like, what, how is he doing that? Um... And so they fight off. Meanwhile, this while this is going on, the head captain of um, of the Soul Society is confronted by I think about was it like five like masked soldiers, and they're like, you know, uh, we are gonna we, we're here to declare war on you, uh, and you know we are gonna wipe you guys out in five days, and you know your security is pretty terrible, and he's like, when I'm here, you don't need we don't need tight security. And uh, while they do that, while he's talking about that, he literally attacks one of the soldiers. Attacks uh, one of the uh, the captains of uh, of the Soul Reapers, and so he's trying to figure out now who are these people, and they're basically saying, you know, we're going to take you out in five days. Um, and so then uh, the head captain basically tries to. Uh, you know, attack them, but then they use some shadowy thing or whatever to escape. Um, meanwhile, um, while Ichigo is fighting this this new guy that looks like an Arankar, but clearly is not according to him, even though he has an Arankar mask, um, Ichigo uses a Bankai, and uh, while this is going on, the one of the captains, the wounded captain tells the head captain that they can absorb like the Bankai basically. Uh, and I guess this is what this, this guy was trying to do to Ichigo, but as it was starting to work, it didn't work. Ichigo broke through with his Bankai and took him out. And he basically said, now I have even more questions for you before he was already suspicious of this guy. But now Ichigo is like, I now have a lot of questions for you as he puts the sword right to him. Um, and then he kind of just smiggles away and then uses the, you know, this shadowy thing to get away. And, uh... Yeah, it was uh, really weird. It was a really weird thing. Um, the uh, all these these characters, uh, these soldiers or whatever, all meet up at some I guess blue-ish hideout room, and they're like talking. Like the one guy is talking like how he could you know survive the bonkai or whatever. Then one of the other soldiers tells him, "Oh, why are you kneeling down? You." You, you, you know, you, you didn't do what you were supposed to do. And then the, I guess, head guy comes in and, like, randomly attacks the guy who was arguing with the guy who failed his mission against Ichigo. Um, 
and then we see who the guy is and it appears to be the guy who is Ichigo's Bankai or is inside of Ichigo I guess or at least it looks like him um so and uh that's how the episode ends with uh Mr. Big Mustache um like I said uh these guys are I guess Quincy's descendants or Quincy's themselves that we never knew about um up to this point since as we remember from the series is only the father and Uyo are the only Quincy's that are left in the business here in the uh, Ichigo or the Bleach universe. So, nonetheless, um, appears that we actually do have Quincy's besides the Quincy's that were established alive, which could have been the reason why everyone was shocked. Um, but nonetheless, that was the end of the episode. Again, no Rukia in this episode. It was kind of upsetting, but probably going to get Rukia in the next episode. Um, since, I mean, at this, you guys got to remember, she she can't always be in Katakuo Town. Always, you know, since she is a regular Soul Reaper. Unlike our a substitute Soul Reaper like Ichigo Kurosaki. Um, they showed the credits. Uh, they didn't have English credits for like, the voice actors, so... I know there were some voices confirmed. Um, there was also a scene with a couple of the other Soul Reapers lieutenants as well. I should mention. I didn't really mention that. But they didn't really do that much. They just kind of talked and walked around. Um, uh, and that was kind of about it. But um, yeah, guys. That was episode 367 um yeah for uh the blood warfare so yeah guys uh interesting episode uh getting back in the bleach fever uh again it's been a long time coming it's been since 2014 guys since we uh got the privilege of watching bleach um it's been a long time uh, and uh, I plan on reviewing every week's episode since they are coming out weekly. Um, so, yeah. Um, that is about it. Comment, rate. If you like this video or, other vi or any of my other videos, please make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell for all the latest contents. Make sure to keep a Bankai going while you're at it. Um, and... Again, uh, again, no spoilers uh, from the uh, the sub version. It's about, I think, two or three episodes ahead of us right now. But um, this is a dub channel, so let's keep that consistent, guys. Uh, and uh, same, it's the same rules as everything else for you know these this simuls and all that stuff. It's same rules. This is a dub channel. We keep it as if it's just been released the first time. Uh, that's how we treat it. So let's keep it that way. Um, so yeah, I'm the SS Ultimate Goku. Out of here. Peace. Also, make sure besides my YouTube channel to follow me on Twitch at SS Ultimate Goku, as well as my Instagram, SS, the SS Ultimate Goku, and also for fictional discussions. Uh, such as anime, uh, dubs, uh, cartoons, uh, live action movies, live action television series, sports, wrestling, football, all that stuff. Make sure to go to the Discord server link, um, which also will be in the description as well. Thank you. And now I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>